Hi, my beautiful Pisces. I'm back again. All right, my beautiful Pisces. Don't forget to hit that like button. It's Jessica, and it's Trust and Truth to Roll. So I'm going to be doing a five-card reading, and this is going to be past, present, future energy for some of you guys. Okay, hopefully this resonates with you. Let's see, Pisces. What is the message that Spirit is wanting me to give to you, Pisces? What is the message that Spirit is wanting me to give to you, my higher self, the most high? What is the message that I need to give to my beautiful Pisces? What is it that you need me to let Pisces know? What is the message that I need to get to my Pisces? Don't forget to hit that like button, you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I appreciate you guys so much for showing up. All right. What is the message? All right, we have temperance, Pisces. Okay, temperance. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius energy. Ooh. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Wow. Okay, two tens. So we have the three of pentacles, ten of cups, ten of swords, king of swords, and the four of cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. Pisces, there's someone here who is now, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm now seeing the errors of my ways. Okay, so someone here is now seeing the errors of their ways, some type of mistake or betrayal on their part. And they want to make this right with you. They want to make this better. Um, for some of you guys, this is a family member or a loved one. Or someone you have a family with, with this Ten of Cups here. There was some type of family betrayal here in a situation. Maybe for some of you guys, this was a work betrayal. Either way, this could have to do with work or family is what I'm hearing. Work or family. Okay? This is a work or family situation. There was a betrayal here. And I feel like someone wants to right their wrong. I feel like somebody wants to face you. They want an opportunity here to face you. Temperance here is bringing peace and harmony and balance to a situation. Yeah, seven of swords here again in reverse with the two of wands and the emperor here. Okay, this is about taking some type of responsibility for some type of action or making some, making some type of move here. Wow. Someone, I'm hearing someone feels like they could have done better. They could have done better by a situation here with you. They could have done better. They could have responded better. They could have behaved better. They could have acted better in this situation. They're really wanting some type of peaceful resolution. Yes, page of cups in reverse. Yo, this person was very slow to apologize the first time. Like... Whoa, this person was being so immature, so emotionally immature. And then I see the fool card here in reverse. So foolish. To me, this is like someone in the past, they knew they were wrong. They knew that they may have done something. And I feel like the Sagittarius energy here right here, someone rising being a sign. I feel like this person did want at peace. They wanted a peaceful resolution, but for some reason, they chose to act childish, immature. They may have thrown an emotional temper tantrum here with the Page of Cups here in reverse. Yeah, there is this, this reckless emotional behavior. Um, it's like maybe because they may have not wanted to admit that they did something wrong. So it's a negative message regarding them expressing their emotions or feelings, they may have expressed it in a very negative way, negative tone, 
Um, it's like attention seeking or behavior, very immature behavior here. And the sad thing about it is I do kind of really feel like this person did really want it to bring some type of peace and balance to a situation, but it wasn't coming out that way. It was coming out very immature, like this very immature behavior to the point where they weren't, they were not acknowledging something here with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just say fucking sorry. Just apologize. Like, what's so hard about that? Tell me more. Mm-hmm. Five of cups here in reverse. This person, I don't want to keep it real with you. This person is in the near future or in the present moment. This person is going to be wanting to like, they're going to get to a place where they're going to recover something emotionally here with you. Yeah. They're going to come towards you. They're going to want to, because they just, this is unfinished business. They feel like this, if the situation is unfinished, the conversation is unfinished. Like this person is going to show up wanting some type of validation here. Or approval. They're going to want some type of attention from here, from you. Queen of Cups, we have Scorpio energy, Pisces, Cancer. Okay. There may even be a negative message here regarding a kid in this situation. And that's probably why for somebody here, they're wanting to like... They're wanting some type of peace. This is a lot of water here. We have temperance. We have the page of cups and the five of cups. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer here. Um, yeah, someone wants to recover a situation here with you emotionally. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, two of cups. Two of cups. Okay, so I do feel like you and this person will recover from this. My Pisces, this may be your energy. Someone here through some type of emotional, I don't know, it feels like some type of emotional tantrum. Like, ugh, feels really like emotionally immature. Someone was very emotionally immature here, just, just admitting or just, they just didn't express their emotions in a very positive way. Um... And I'm just seeing some type of like, also I'm hearing like there could have been some type of like emotional imbalance. This could have been like a hormonal imbalance, but this is something that happened in the past. And I do see that someone wanted to bring peace or they wanted harmony and balance in a situation. So, but someone just wasn't expressing that. They were cut off. They weren't showing their emotions. Someone here will be recovering emotionally, recovering the situation emotionally here with you. The two of cups, you and this person will be communicating and talking again. You you will be close again. Um, I do see that there is a mutual expression of love that will occur here in the future. This is positive. Um, it could be occurring because of another family member or another person in the situation. Maybe an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But yeah, I'm seeing open communication here with you and this person is very loving, is very sweet, is very empathetic or sympathetic in some way. That's what I'm seeing. The conversation is very sympathetic to one's to one another's emotions and feelings. I'm seeing that you guys are definitely going to be able to open up and express emotions and feelings. I feel like this is like, you guys are going to, you guys are going to bounce back from this is what I'm hearing. You guys are going to recover from this. There will be peace and harmony in, in this situation. Tell me more. Yeah. Two of pentacles. Over our energy is the three of swords, the magician and the tower in reverse. So yeah, someone really wants to, um, they want to fix something that was broken here because the tower here is in reverse. So something is broken and someone's trying to manif manifest building something back up or fixing something here that was broken in a situation. Could have been a broken heart because the three of swords is here in reverse. Um, I'm seeing someone definitely manifest trying to recover someone's heart 
back in a situation like, I want your love back. I want your, you know, I want your, I want your love back in a situation. I want your understanding. I want everything to be okay. I don't want you to be hurt by this situation anymore. Um, that type of thing. You know, someone here really wants to make this right, fix this, and they don't want either you to be hurt. They don't want you to be heartbroken, hurt, saddened, disappointed. This person is making a head over heart decision to bring peace to a situation. Maybe even to be the bigger person with the magician here to rise above something here. Also, I'm hearing that this this like this this hurts. This really hurts this person in some way. Not to be able to communicate or talk to you. I feel like something is breaking this person's heart. This situation is breaking this person's heart. And they just want peace. They want peace in the situation here with you. They want harmony. They want to coexist. They want something like this, right? Um, but I do see that in, like, I do see in the near future, you and this person will have a lot of fluctuations. Um, yeah, you and this person will go through a lot of, like, fluctuations here. Or there's someone in this situation connected that will fluctuate. It's like hormonal, like they have this like imbalance. It's like an it's like a hormonal imbalance. Yeah, I'm seeing that whoever you're dealing with, they have a hormonal imbalance. They may have an issue here with hormonal imbalance. Um, this could be anything. This could be something in regards to their health. Um, or their emotional well-being, something like that, where this person does fluctuate a lot. But it's so crazy because I don't feel like this person has like um, bad intentions towards you. I feel like there's a situation going on with this person that is deeper than what you think or what you know. Um, meaning like, I'm trying to think of hormonal, like hormonal issues, like too much estrogen, lower progesterone, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't know, thyroid issues. There's something, it's something like you don't know. It could be like in the endocrine system, but I feel like really like deep down inside, I do feel like this person may have some type of like um, health issues or something that causes them to maybe... No, kind of causes them to kind of like express themselves in a very or make I don't know it's weird it's like express themselves the way they do hmm this could be what you're doing Pisces or the other person I do feel like again you guys are going to come together you guys are going to have this mutual love. It's going to be shown again to each other, shared with each other. But I do see that in the future, it will go. It's, it's a back and forth. It's a fluctuation. Honestly, it is something that is going to fluctuate and it is going to kind of go up and down. I see you guys are going to have a good. It's like you guys are going to have good days and bad days, good days and bad days. One minute, it'll be great. Next minute, it'll be bad again. That's just how it is with you and this person. That's the dynamic of this relationship or this connection is what it looks like. And honestly, it looks like it's this way um, because there is some type of deeper issue here. That needs to be looked into, honestly. What is the message I need to get to Pisces in regards to this person? Because it's almost like their emotions and their feelings fluctuate with you, but I don't feel like it's just you. It's not just you, Pisces. It is not just you. Um, what am I getting? 
This may be this may have been an issue of theirs since their adolescent years. Or maybe you're dealing with an adolescent, or maybe there's like an age difference here, like where you're dealing with a freaking child or a freaking teenager, right? And they're going through puberty. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so it's something like this, you guys. Okay, so let's see. What is the message I need to get to Pisces here in regards to the situation of this person? It's like someone needs to get their hormones, hormones check. Okay, you deserve love. You are lovable. Over our energy, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I mean, so honestly, let's keep it real. I do feel like with this, you deserve love. You're lovable. I do feel like this person does want to love you. They want to love you. They want to show you their love. I do feel like this person is trying. They are trying. It's like they're really trying to be lovable to you. Or they're, they're, I'm sorry, they're really trying to be lovable. They are really trying to show you that they do love you. They care about you. I, I, I'm honestly seeing that. I do feel like this is genuine. This is real love. This is someone genuinely that does not want to be in a bad place with you. This person genuinely does love you and care about you. They may even look up to you or have strong emotions and feelings for you. But I do see that they're struggling. They're struggling in some way with their own feelings and emotions or how they feel people feel about them. How people, it's like they're struggling with it's almost like they're struggling with people feeling like people don't love them. Feeling like they're not getting the love that they deserve. And I do feel like this person is trying to show you the love you deserve. But I just kind of feel like this person may feel like they're not getting it reciprocated back, Pisces. Okay? Again. It has to do with some type of hormonal imbalance for some of them. Is what I'm seeing. You could be dealing with the whole preteen or puberty or someone that's younger. You know, they're still trying to understand themselves, their place. Or this could be some type of medical issue, seriously, that someone is not aware of. But yeah, this is what I'm seeing, Pisces. This person is determined to show you that they love you and they care about you. Um, but I do feel like with them, it, it's a slippery slope. One minute you're getting a good part of them, a good side of them. The next minute you're not getting the best of them, you know. So, And it's because they're not feeling the best of themselves. They're not feeling like someone loves them or care about them. So that's what this is about. 